Welcome everyone. Uh, we're going to wait one more minute to see if there's a few people joining late and then we'll get started. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Russell Stalters. I'm one of the board members at SARDA, Schizophrenia and Related Disorders Alliance of America. So good afternoon, good morning, good evening, uh, or whatever time if you're watching the recording. Today we're going to present SARDA's Pen Pal program, and I am excited to welcome Sandy Dimitrjic, and she is a certified peer support specialist from the state of Louisiana. She's a member of the SARTA staff, and she serves as the Schizophrenia Alliance Psychosis Support and Acceptance staff supporter. She has been affiliated with SARTA since 2015 as a volunteer grant writer and received the 2015 SARTA Volunteer of the Year Award. And that was really exciting. I was there. Um, she has a BS in psychology from the Louisiana State University including the completion of an honors thesis on child development. And she herself has a diagnosis of schizo schizoaffective disorder. So Sandy, welcome. And I'm gonna turn the floor over to you. Thank you. Welcome to the SARDA webinar on our Pen Pal program. SARTA stands for Schizophrenia and Related Disorders Alliance of America and helps people with schizophrenia or related disorders such as bipolar disorder, schizoaffective disorder, depression with psychosis, or experience with psychosis. My name is Sandy Dimitrjic and I help coordinate the Schizophrenia Alliance Psychosis Support and Acceptance, or SA, self-help peer support groups in the pen pal program. Today we will talk about the need for the pen pal program and how the pen pal program works. Make sure you click on on the on the uh, presentation. Okay. There you go. Okay. The purpose of our organization is to shift from prison, as you see in this picture, with 392,000 people with seriously mentally ill in jail, according to the Treatment Advocacy Center. In Virginia alone in 2014, there were about 356,000 inmates with serious neuropsychiatric brain illnesses. The Treatment Advocacy Center evaluated the change in number of state prisoners and found that there are now 10 times more individuals in the correction system than state mental health hospitals. 140,000 homeless have a seriously mentally illness. These illnesses are disruptive and painful for families and communities. According to a survey by the US Department of Justice, there are approximately 10% of state prisoners with some type of psychotic disorder. It is more expensive to incarcerate people than to treat them. And tragically, there is a risk of death due to suicide. As I mentioned earlier, SORTA stands for Schizophrenia and Related Disorders Alliance of America and manages support groups for people with schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, schizoaffective disorder, 
depression with psychosis or experience with psychosis, including in a prison in Michigan. We also have families for care support groups for caregivers. We now offer a pen pal program. Our vision, we want to change from restraint and arrest and envision a time when people affected will leave a meaningful life in a community full free of discrimination. These essay groups have been around since 1985 and started in Michigan. There are different forms of groups, in-person, conference calls, and a closed Facebook page. They can be found throughout the United States and internationally. We are now adding a pen pal program too. The groups are for people with schizophrenia or related disorders, including schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, schizoaffective disorder, depression with psychosis, or experience with psychosis. They are peer led by people with related diagnoses. Using the blue book, facilitators who are also diagnosed with schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, schizoaffective disorder, depression with psychosis or experience with psychosis, or a mental health professional, depending on the setting, open meetings versus meetings in a prison or state hospital, lead the meeting for approximately an hour to an hour and a half on typically a weekly basis. The core elements of the meeting is the six steps of recovery. I surrender. I admit I need help. I can't do it alone. I choose. I choose to be well. I take full responsibility for my choices and realize the choices I make directly influence the quality of my days. I believe. I now come to believe that I have been provided with great inner resources and I will use these resources to help myself and others. I forgive. I forgive myself for all the mistakes I have made. I also forgive and release everyone who has injured or harmed me in any way. I understand. I now understand that erroneous self-defeating thinking contributes to my problems failures, unhappiness, and fears. I am ready to have my belief system altered so my life can be transformed. I decide. I make a decision to turn my life over to the care of a higher power as I understand that higher power, surrendering my will and false beliefs. I ask to be changed in depth. Training materials include the group leader's manual, the blue book, and brochures about Schizophrenia Alliance and SARDA. The SA staff supporter, myself, serves as the resource and liaison for potential and current SA group leaders. Spirit of SA is a meeting for potential and current SA group leaders through a conference call and meets the first Wednesday of the month. The Blue Book focuses discussions on recovery, treatment adherence, medical history, interests, hobbies, and activities. It also has over 50 personal recovery stories from people diagnosed with schizophrenia or related illnesses, more than half of the book. We make sure both pen pals have a blue book. Interested pen pals sign confidentiality or non-disclosure statements and a nature of relationship agreement. They also fill out applications, including providing references and are interviewed. The pen pal specifies whether they have a diagnosis 
if they want a pen pal in prison and whether they want to write letters to a person with a diagnosis. Pen pals can be anonymous and all letters are reviewed by the essay staff supporter and mailed through the Asarda main office. There was much positive feedback about the essay groups in the survey we recently did on the relationship with essay group leaders and the relationship with other essay members. Prisoners provided about half of the 77 surveys submitted to our main office. Here is a quote from a prisoner in an essay group who also has a pen pal. I received plenty of I received plenty of groups to help with my mental illness. But the essay group is the one group that helped me feel comfortable with others like me. Now I have a pen pal who I can talk to that knows just what I go through. It helps to know that I have support with my essay group and a pen pal. I have every intention to find an essay group near my home when I am released in a few years. As you can see, Essay helps prisoners transition after serving their sentences. To start a pen pal program or essay group, contact me at my email address or the main SARTA office number. You can also watch a mock support video of an essay group with the six steps of recovery on our website. Thank you for attending this webinar. Well, thank you, Sandy. I really appreciate that. Um, if anybody has a question, you can type it into the chat box. Um, there's a uh, chat. And so if you have a question, you can type it in there. And hold on for a minute to see if there's any questions. I guess not. So thank you very much, Sandy. And with that, we'll close this out. And we appreciate you joining us and hope that you're interested in uh, becoming a pen pal. And we have one comment. Um, one of our attendees says it sounds interesting. So thank you very much for attending and have a great day. Thank you.